care what people would say. That's why I didn't say nothing who my dad was. That's why they didn't say nothing because they, they thought they were gonna, you know, destroy whatever they had going on. I was going through problems, going through struggles, but in my mind, I'm thinking like, I, you know, no one cared. You know what I mean? So now I'm to the point to where I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody say. So I went ahead and start documenting my life. And that's by making music, telling my story. You know what I mean? So that's that's how I end up going into rapping and how that's that's how my whole process came about. That's right, man. You just blazed us with, some, with, a, with a whole joint right there, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So like I said, that's why I said before, man, everything that I rap is real. Like, it's real life. So coming out with an EP soon. I don't have an exact date, but the EP's done. It's called Diary of a Bastard Mind. And it's pretty much a diary of me, my life story. Like I said, I started by writing, you know, writing to get things off my chest in my mind. That, that's pretty much can be known as a diary. So I thought that would be a perfect name, perfect fitting name of a diary of a bastard mind. The life of a kid who grew up as a bastard, but in all actuality wasn't. You know what I mean? So that was like a perfect name. So my name hidden and the title of the EP, Diary of Bastard Mind, just all made sense. So I got a five song EP and it's literally, every song is, can be seen as a diary entry. Either it's talking about me trying to find my way in this life, in this world. Um, I got a song called Diary of a Bastard Mind, which is the name of the EP. It's literally a, a talking of, of me a conversation which I'm writing in my diary, speaking on my life issues and everything I've been through with, with my family and my life and things like that. I got a song, a hard song called 40 Acres. It talks about the, the life and struggle of an African-American male, the, the, the things that we go through as a people, the things that we deal with, with dealing with white people and racism in this world. So it, it deals with police brutality, police shooting. It deals with a whole bundle of things. That's like a diary entry on that. Um, I also got a song called uh, Find My Way, or sorry, uh, Friends, Song Friends. Uh, the song Friends is pretty much about, I feel like it was a perfect diary entry of someone who's going through a breakup or somebody who did them wrong, but you're at that point, you guys dealt with each other for a very long time, mm -hmm. and so it's kind of hard to let go, but just know it's something that you have to do, so it's almost yeah. that, that in-between stage of going back to that person and letting them go. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of people have been going through that, and it's like a diary entry on that. Mm -hmm. And then the last diary entry is a song called uh, Billy Jean that I wrote. And, uh, and it's very relevant to now, so I had to you know, dig deep on that one. That's about a diary entry of a female who's going through life. She's very insecure. Um, she really do cares about what everyone thinks. And uh, we're, dealing with, we're actually in the life of social media, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. it's Instagram taking over her life. You know what I mean? She wants to look good for the camera. She wants to look good for her phone. So she ended up getting you know, butt shots and going through all them problems and dealing with different guys in their DMs and trying yeah. to pretty much get caught up in that social media non-realistic whirlwind and that's a, something that our young women are going through now a lot because of social media because everything's handy on a cell phone um, it's you know there's just unrealistic things that are going on they're trying to measure up to that and so there's a diary wrench on that song called Billie Jean which is dope so the whole concept is EP is fire it's gonna be my first one um, so with that drive you guys can check that out it's gonna be it won't be disappointment hold disappointed. up hold up man you mean to tell me you ain't got nothing out there? There's nothing that you can give to the people? Like, somebody can sample and listen to? Just to, you know, because you, oh, yeah, sure. you, you can say that you got the fire. But, yeah, you yeah. know, some people want to hear the fire, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. I got um, the song called Fantasia out right now. It's on SoundCloud. That didn't make the EP because of the sample on there. But I'm, that song is it's actually a touching song for me just because everything in that song is also true. It's about me uh, dealing with a breakup with my ex. And, uh, yeah, I wrote that song. Came out fire. It's on SoundCloud. Um, you can find that on SoundCloud. My SoundCloud is a uh, official hidden, which is H D official O F F I C I L H D N. So that's on uh, SoundCloud. You can catch that on there. All right, man. So uh, with us uh, still out here, brother. How long do you think it's gonna take for you to actually drop the LP and get out here, get that, that hot fire on the street? Oh, the EP will be here by the end of the year, for sure. It's already made, created, mastered, mixed everything to go. We're just doing some logistics, getting the videos and getting the promotion, everything ready for that. But it's it's ready to go, man. So what's up with the uh, the work. Instagram, the Instagram, the Facebook? You gotta tell the people how to get in touch with you, man. They wanna, they wanna, they, somebody might wanna befriend you, man, on Facebook or uh, Instagram. Get them, you know. Man. Hey, yo, you can follow me on uh, Twitter. Twitter is. Um, I'm underscore hidden, which is I am 
underscore HDN. Uh, my Instagram is actually bless up Rashad, B L E S S U P underscore R A S H A D. That's my middle name, Rashad, bless up Rashad. So you can follow me on there. Every, everything on there, we just keep you posted. Everything's going to be on there, man. Check out my stories, everything, all the information will be on there, definitely. So, brother, uh, do you want to leave us with uh, some good, kind words or something positive for the youth out there? Because you know you're the, 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 the new millennium. So you got to give us some real positive. Uh, leave us out with some real positive for the new millennium, man. Because you're speaking for the new millennium right now. <laughs> if anything, I'm going to say anything is be you. Don't try to be like anyone else. If you know the real you, if you're looking for the real you, it's all, everything starts from within. So look within yourself. Know that you can do it and do anything that you put your mind to. Even if, even if it takes investing in yourself, all you got to do is jump. Go ahead and jump. You can got it. You can do it. All right, man. So... Once again, it's Mobility TV. We're doing an interview with Hidden. You know what I mean? The one and only. And, brother, I really appreciate this interview, man. You know, uh, like I said, you got some good music, man. Uh, and I hope that uh, you will be successful with your venture. For sure. And I, you always got to appreciate the man behind the camera, too. So thank you, man. Thank you for having me.